Hi, this is Andrew Smith, instructor at Ferris State University and runner of art by smitty.com. Today we're going to talk about baking ambient occlusion maps in a software called Topogun. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is load up Topogun. I'm going to go to load scene, go to my desktop, and I'm going to go ahead and change my file of type to OBJ. I'm going to go find my low poly model first, hit open, then it's going to ask me to load in my high res mesh. I'll do the same thing, and except this time grab my high poly. Now at this point it's uh, pretty imperative that your low poly object is unwrapped, and uh, hopefully you understand that process by now, um, if you're watching this. Uh, so right now what it did is it loaded in my low poly reference uh, as the reference, and my high poly in as the target to bake. So all I have to do is go up here to Bake, click the Generate Maps button or Control shift m and that's going to bring up this guy. Uh, now this is where you can bake all kinds of maps, like normal maps and whatever. Uh, I'm just going to go over ambient occlusion maps. First thing you want to do is set up your math width and height. 1024 is, I guess we'll just use that, that's fine. Uh, sampling, I don't like low. Medium's good. High's not going to, high's going to make this take a long time. Um, and you won't get really get that much better results than you will with medium, so we'll take medium. Uh, edge extent, that's kind of like uh, your, your map borders or your island borders, so keep map, map mapping in mind when you do this. Um, yeah. So we're going to scroll down here to hardware ambient occlusion map, and this is where Topo Gun is awesome because what it's going to use is it's going to use my amazing graphics card that I have in my computer to generate the ambient occlusion. It's not going to use the software, which is sweet if you spent lots of money on your graphics card like I did. Um, filter, usually just keep this at none, but you can add a blur or a sharpen to it if you want. Uh, filter power, we'll keep that at 50. Quality, um, usually I'll bump up the quality. Uh, we'll bump this up to something like 80. I might even bump it up to 90 just for the heck of it, but 80 usually works pretty fine. Um, keep everything else the same. Skylight coverage, uh, we'll keep that at 50 for now, uh, and keep all these checked. Um, Lambertian basically is going to apply this Lambert effect to the ambient occlusion map, which is good. It's what we want. Um, it's kind of like using Max 2.5 star if you're rendering AO out of Max or anything out of Max for that matter. Precision normal, 8-bit's um, fine. We would use 32-bit if we needed an alpha map, but this being an ambient occlusion map, uh, we're just going to use it to help strengthen our diffuse map that goes into our asset and game. So 8-bit's just fine. Hit set file. I'm going to tell this to save it to my desktop as AOMAP1. Target's fine. Hit save. I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to hit the Generate Maps button. And then it's going to think for a couple seconds, minutes, whatever, depends really on your system and your graphics card. Um, but it's using my hardware, which is really nice. So I'm going to pause this, and we'll come back in a second when it's done. Okay, so it generated my ambient occlusion map. We're going to take a look at it in Photoshop here. Um, so this is uh, pretty nice, actually. Um, Top of Gun's probably the nicest software that I've ever used for baking um, ambient occlusion maps and getting really nice results here uh, with it. Um, let's see here. If we zoom in here, I have some errors. I could paint those out, uh, but really those errors are pretty minimal uh, for the results that I'm getting. Um, now, you might be noticing that, yeah, this is a very large ambient occlusion map, meaning the shadows cover large areas. Uh, they're not really small and tight. So if we wanted to generate a, a tighter ambient occlusion map, because oftentimes you'll be generating a call it a long AO map and a short AO map. So this would be the long AO map because it's giving me these long um, general shadows, almost as if this were lit uh, ambiently with ambient lighting. So I'm going to minimize that real quick. And I'm going to come back up here uh, to the hardware ambient occlusion maps. And I'm going to change the skylight coverage from 50 to 100. And this is the setting that's going to help tighten those ambient occlusion shadows for us. Uh, so all I have to do is change that, come back down here and hit generate, and I'll pause this again. All right, so coming back, um, I resaved over that file. I'm going to hit update in Photoshop. And as we zoom in, we can notice that I'm getting some much tighter looking shadows here uh, in my AO map. So 
depending on the result that you want, you might want to play with a few of those settings in the skylight parameters in Topo Gun. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if we were to use this as an AO map in our diffuse map, you know, we're going to set this to a multiply blend mode. Uh, but again, I expect you guys to kind of know that stuff. Um, that's it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching.